Hey, Libra Gang Gang, how y'all doing? It's your girl, Root. Welcome back. Yeah, I have a new interesting subject, which I think is very important. And uh, as y'all can see by the title, it's to help us against our uh, ancestors who didn't learn their lessons or didn't change before they left here and how they can feed on us, okay? And... Um, what we can do to stop it and recognize it and understand what's going on, the habits that we have, and we can't stop. You know, I feel like we can't stop, and it's kind of hard. It's because uh, we don't have an ancestor altar, and helping our ancestors out, uh, giving them what they like, because a lot of them, you know, like I say, left here and didn't change. Uh, but we still have those that were rapists and, you know, uh, these different other things that we can't put on the altar okay so we have to learn how to um protect ourselves from that protect our children from uh all of that you know and we also help them as well i forgot i didn't do my phone so i could show you this scenario uh hold on one second this is called the tree of life family tree and when our family passed they go through these stages according to what they did here. If they changed or not, you know, you're moving up the ladder and, and we're, they're learning lessons from us while they're on in, in the afterlife. So, no, you're not dead, dead. So, um, this is the moon and the sun. And most of our ancestors that didn't change and had habits and different things, they're stuck on the moon. So, it's all according to what we learn and what we do here that helps them. I'm not sure yet. I haven't found or uh, read uh, more about it. If they move up the ladder as, as we change the um, habits that they had that they try to put on us, um, I haven't found that yet, but I will. So, yeah, so they're closer to us, you know, so they can give us different kind of habits and different kind of things that, uh, you know, we're doing and don't want to do and wondering why you're doing it and can't stop, you know, drugs or whatever it may be. So I want to show different scenarios and, and uh, talk about it and see how can we change these things and be make people aware it's what hap it's what happening, why are we doing what we're doing, and help them as well, okay? So what I did was I put a whole lot of scenarios in this bag, and I'm going to pull one at a time, and we're going to talk about it. And then ask ourselves some questions. Okay, the first one is trying to outdo everybody. Okay, wondering why you just got to have the best car. You just got to have, you know, better than your neighbor, your family. You know, I, had, I met a family once that they, that's all they do is compete against each other. You know, which is a great thing in some ways, you know, and motivates everybody to want, you know, want more or whatever. But are you happy? You know what I'm saying? And while you got to be always in competition, you can't never settle down. What if you don't want all those things, but you feel out of place, you know, and are you going to get talked about so you continually do things you don't want to do? You know, and that, that, you know, that's the world. People try to outdo each other in weight and size and color and hairstyles, the whole nine yard. You know what I'm saying? And those are generational curses. You know, we're supposed to be about our destiny, our path what we came here to do and focusing on that and learning more about ourselves so we can move up that ladder up that uh, uh family tree you know the tree of life and uh go to our highest potential in order for when we come back you know all to help others down here you know we ain't supposed to be worrying about trying to outdo nobody so that's that's one scenario of a, a generation of curse Let's do another one loveless you know you wonder why you just can't love anybody you know what i'm saying you just don't care you know and you you thinking something wrong with you and you like well man that person treated me really good but i just don't care about them i i treat them any kind of way you know i have no feeling for them why you know you're feeling kind of off some people have killed themselves because of this or went crazy that's because who, whatever in your bloodline, your ancestors, they were like this, you know. And they're still using you or your family members or kids or whatever. You notice it in your children or your husband's side, wife's side. 
and you know you're just mean as ever or, or just talking to you any kind of way you know and uh also blood type make sure you find some person that's your blood type because if you're a and really sensitive you know helping person and you have a mate that's an o or a different other blood type and and they're just mean as ever you know what i'm saying that's not gonna work you're gonna be miserable and who want to keep trying to fix somebody ain't nobody got time for that but yeah you know being loveless and you know just don't care about what's going on around you doing your own thing so that's that's a generational curse that's one of your family members was like that and that that's rooted so now you want to get that out because you don't want to be like that you want to have some type of feelings for somebody you know so yeah let me see we're going to ask the question question one of them is uh why do i think like this how can i stop this do i love myself do i love people do i love myself too much but if you love yourself you're gonna love people so that's a selfish love and karma you know gonna get you what if you get pregnant or ill or something because of this and pass it on to your kids or when you're ill and people know how horrible you've been to them and and say you get so ill you can't get out the bed who won't want, want to come and help you out you know so we need to change these things and recognize these things that's why i'm doing this right now they told me to do it and so people can realize that their actions might not be their actions might be family members that passed on that haven't changed and they're they're feeding off of you okay so let's go to another scenario judgment okay judging everybody nobody do nothing good you know you think you better than everybody you know same thing like the loveless you know you care about some people but some people you just don't care about you know and you judging everything you know nobody could please you you know it's hard and uh people bending over backwards trying to get your attention you know show you love your kids as well your mate your family you know and then you see that and you start looking and paying attention to your family and you're like wow they do the same thing that's where i get this from and they got it from their parents and their parents got it from their parents okay but we can break these cycles in order for us to move to you know uh, a happier life you know we ain't got to feel this way we can enjoy and sit back and meditate and enjoy life and love people accordingly of course watch and make sure you have the right people in your circle you'll know once you start loving yourself okay Let's do another one. <coughs> okay, this is obsessive. Okay, you don't want to let people go. You don't want to let stuff go. You're harder. You know, you don't want to let people go. You, you know, y'all know, you know that person ain't for you, but you ain't finna let them go because you feel like they belong to you and and, and you know they supposed to do what you say regardless. They're supposed to just worship you regardless if you want them or not. Cause you know we're supposed to have certain mates soulmate karma mate and uh uh forgot the other one soulmate karma uh it's another one but yeah and they supposed to teach you lessons in this life and if it's meant for y'all to break apart break apart you know and your kids are not a possession your husband they're not possessions people are not possession you don't treat them as such you know you can just put them to the side they're, these movies that they be showing of people turning people into different stuff through witchcraft and magic and just keeping them on the shelf or making them an object or you know those things are true people don't believe but that's true you know i know you've seen a lot of things that look human or cat or animal or something somebody probably turned them into something to keep them around or you know you never know what's really going on people do some evil stuff People are not possessions. You are not a possession. Don't let nobody treat you like that. Okay? Let me see another scenario. Hatred. You know? Just hating on people. For no reason. Just being mean and hateful. Like we was explaining earlier. Don't care. You know? Just wishing people ill. Just, you know, could care less. Just wake up in the morning mad. You know what I'm saying? hating everything somebody try to please you like we're talking about you you don't want it you talk about them low grade them you know want to fight all kind of crazy stuff you know those are generational curses you have to sit back and say wait a minute you know what i'm saying i 
I need to change? How did I get this way? You know, what's going on? Who's feeding off of me? And that goes back to the ancestors I showed y'all that, that didn't change. And they're feeding off of you or your, your husband's side or your husband or your kids or your mate or family or mom, dad, whatever. Just hateful. That's, that's a generational curse. Now, they might not want to change if you address it to them, but you make sure you and your children don't. You start a whole nother generational thing of not being these, you know, these ways. I'm not just old, Another one, unforgiving. Don't want to forgive anybody. You know what I'm saying? So guess what? All these things bring sickness and disease in your body. Not forgiving. You know what I'm saying? Whether the scenario, Jesus scenario is, uh, what did he say? Um. Uh, it's not the things that you put in the body that make you sick. It's the things that's already in there. Hatred, uh, for unforgiveness, you know what I'm saying? Not loving, not caring about people, you know? That make you sick. So we have to change our mindset and, and go to the root and see why we do these things we do, why we act like that. And it's always going back to generational curses, the ancestors that passed on that didn't change. And they're still feeding off of you and making you do these things. So now you're, being rec you're recognizing those things. So now you want to change that, you know, so you can be the best to have do. Be the best that you can be. Fulfill your destiny. You know, go on your path. What you need to be doing. Be passionate about what you're doing. You know, and forgiving others and forgiving yourself. Some people don't even forgive themselves. You know, just get down in depression and and just. You know, going to their mind, have mental issues, you know. Or try to please somebody who won't forgive them for the path that they chose or the mistakes they made. You can't, you can't do that to people. We all connected. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Spooky. I was looking at somebody um, that uh, was eating uh, bird eggs with the bird almost finna hatch and then they're eating the eggs something like the Adams family okay just being spooky you know and you might not even want to be that way but your family is spooky people you live in a spooky house y'all dress spooky y'all act spooky you know y'all eat spooky you do all kind of things hateful things to people in the neighborhood around you each other play all kind of crazy games with each other you know these movies try to show us different different scenarios. So if you don't want to be that way, we're going to find out how to stop this, okay? Because you don't have to be like your family. That's a lie when they tell you, oh, we all, this is how it is, this is your bloodline, no. And then you got to consider uh, you might have been stolen or adopted. That's another thing to think about, why you're not feeling the way they are. You know, we've seen many things on people being different I was trying to think of a, a, a movie which y'all probably can think of some where the uh, one child did not want to be mean to people you know they didn't want a uh, Casper the friendly ghost I'm throwing that out there he didn't want to be mean he didn't want to be spooky and spook people you know he didn't want to do that kind of stuff he wanted to love people he wanted to have friends so how do we change this type of type of things that our family put, you know, from generation to generation, you know? So <clears throat> we're going to see an answer. Maybe we can get some chakra wisdom and calling on the ancestors that were good, asking them, you know, making ancestor authors, you know what I'm saying? Asking them how to help, how to get out of this scenario. I don't want to feel this way. You know, it's, it's making me sick. It's making nobody trust me. It's making nobody want to come around me. Then I don't want to use people and make them do things, you know. Maybe your family was witchcraft and you want you using people and treating them bad. How many kids been kidnapped and, and people been kidnapped and put in cages and, you know, uh, wells and, and holes and just possessing people, you know, obsessing over people and don't want to let them go. A lot of crazy things going on. But if you don't want to be that way, you don't have to. You have freedom of speech. You have freedom. You can do free will. You don't have to be on a family line. Some of you're going to have to be slick about it. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell everybody what you're doing. 
Some people have ran away from it. Some people have killed themselves. Some people have went crazy. Some people have escaped. So see what ancestor did, because you got some good ancestors as well as bad. Let's see what answer they're going to give us, y'all. Okay, let's see. Third chakra, solar plexus, self-worth and self-esteem. Okay, get stronger. I honor myself by doing things that please me, not only those that please others. I am empowered as I release the need to live up to other people's unrealistic expectations of me. When I respect and approve of myself, others will naturally do the same. I teach others how to treat and respect me by how I treat and respect myself. I know I am worthy of love and respect. The boundaries I create with others acknowledge my self-worth. There you go. So, getting yourself stronger, really looking at your family. And if you don't want to leave from around, you want them to change, maybe you, that, that chosen one in the family, can help them change. If not, you have to consider moving around because you, you have to love yourself. You know, realizing your self-worth, self-esteem, not letting them put you down, you know, be empowered. You know, so that was great. One more scenario. I'm going to um, draw an overall card. Just a little more help. Okay. See what the cards have to say. But yeah, you know, that's just an you know, example. I put a whole lot of examples on different signs. I like to do personal. That's why I go by the signs. And uh, <clears throat> or maybe you know some family like that. Maybe you can help somebody out, you know. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what the cards are saying. Yeah, I'm glad I know. I found out this, okay? Okay, it's a jack of clubs, okay? Upright, okay? So, you can uh, be creative ways to do this. Find out creative ways to do this. You know, take action and finding out, you know. Um, start with the little kids, your children your kids and the family and them know this not cool you don't have to do that you know uh find messengers could be myself as well and your ancestors calling on your guides whoever you believe in the divine source okay your thoughts changing your thoughts you don't have to be like them okay moving around moving don't have to be around them okay um messengers are coming your way so that means that your ancestors want to tell you and I could be the one showing you the way and, and uh, letting you know they're, they're coming. They're here, okay? They want to show you. You don't have to live in a family like this if they don't want to change. You know, uh, being friendly and loving towards people, reliable, trustworthy, helpful, ambitious, okay? Enthusiastic, sensitive, stable, okay? Not stubborn, you know what I'm saying? Because your family could be stubborn, you know, and you're going to have to... Move around from them. I hate to say it, you know. A lot of people don't want to leave their family. They love them. But if it's poisoning you and poisoning your kids and poisoning, you know, or your mate family like that or friends or whatever it may be, you have to move yourself around because that stuff spreads, you know. And there's no consequences. You don't want to be stuck on that moon. You want to move to the highest level on that chart, on that uh, tree of life. Okay. All right, Libra Gang Gang, that's what I have for y'all. Hope I helped. And it's your girl, Ruth, signing off. And until next time, would y'all like, subscribe, share, and comment? And I'll talk to y'all later, okay? All right, bye.